Hello and welcome to the life of the Troxels. My name is Laura and today I wanted to share with you the past week that we've had. It's summertime so we're in a crazy summertime schedule and um, some different kind of a schedule for us. So my oldest daughter is in day camps and so she's got half day camps but then my youngest daughter is at daycare part-time so I'm kind of juggling trying to have her schedule with the camp schedule uh, with summertime activities that we have planned we have a lot of fun stuff in the video coming up we have some backyard pool time uh, we're going to the library for the first time my daughter just turned five and she got her first library card and got to check out some books with that we have some dinner recipes planned um, I used a HelloFresh recipe, but I like recreated it for myself. So that kind of turned out pretty good. And then I also had a big talk while I was uh, getting ready the other day about like the future and about like my thoughts on where I am in my life right now. And so if you're interested in hearing a little bit about what it's like to be a mom of three and a mom in her 30s, then I'm so glad that you're here. Please stick around and thanks for watching the Life of the Troxels. So I wanted to come on here, um, just show our animals. Here's a rosy cat snoozing in the sun. She's still hanging around. And then we also have Ace and our daughter Summer loves playing with Ace. He is such a sweetheart, great with babies. He's been around for all of our kids to be babies. So it is, wanted to give a little shout out to our animals for just being a great part of our family. So I love these bowls from Amazon. They're like little divided bowls. So you can kind of keep uh, something separated from the other ones. All the like sugar from the gummy worms won't get onto the apples and the cheese. And it's a perfect little snack. So after a little snack, we went to the library. This was uh, like I said, Maddie's first time at the library, so she thought it was so cool to be able to pick out the books and bring them home. I picked out this book, did not finish it, do not recommend it. And then Maddie got this book and wanted to sit down and read it before bed that night. When Bears Thank You Note arrived, Seagull Express. The girl realized that she needed to go to him. She understood that he looked for color, but he could not see it. So she sailed across the ocean. So I have to take some NyQuil because I got a cold and just haven't been sleeping that great. And I absolutely despise anything cherry flavored um, and NyQuil like especially. So. Oh, and I have to take it just even the smell of it's like gagging me, I swear. But this is like, I swear I have like more preparation for this than I do like to take a shot. But so I have my Nyquil and then I like ch plug my nose, I chug that, and then I chug a bunch of water, and then I eat some string cheese, and that kind of like takes away the flavor that the water doesn't take away. And then I have my toothbrush that already has toothpaste on it, and then I'll brush my teeth. And then after all of that, I'll still taste the cherry flavor, but it's like not as bad. And then when I'm done being sick, I have to get a new toothbrush, not because it has sick germs on it, but because it still tastes like cherry. 
and it's absolutely disgusting and so I get rid of it. And so this is like my little preparation <laughs> whenever I have to take NyQuil is kind of a thing. Okay, I just got back from yoga so I look crazy but I stopped at the grocery store and got grocery store sushi because I was starving and they have like some pretty good deals on it. Like this is the basic one, it's $9.99 you get two rolls. But here you go, a $5 promo special, 10 pieces for $5. What a deal. So I got these two together, which is the equivalent of like four rolls. I mean, three rolls maybe. And at the sushi place that we go, it's $14.99 for one. So I just spent a little bit more than that. And I got all of the sushi and like the place where we go, the sushi is like seven out of ten like eight out of ten like pretty good and then this sushi's maybe like six out of ten you know not that much lower quality and it's such a better deal especially if you could like this five dollars for a roll that's a full meal that's the bargain i don't know about you other moms out there but uh these summertime schedules have really been hard on me. So I'm literally working at the park. Um, brought my daughter to this fun little wading pool we have. And I just sat and worked on my computer while she was playing around trying to squeeze in work and mom life. So for dinner, I actually went through and was flipping through my old HelloFresh recipe cards. And I came across this one and I had most of the ingredients already. So I was like, I'm going to make this for dinner. Um, so I literally, I just had to buy, I think I just had to buy like the potatoes and the cheese, but we had some carrots and then I defrosted some ground beef. Uh, we had an onion. It's asked for shallot, but onions, the same thing. Right. Um, and then we have some gluten-free panko because Eric needs our gluten-free. So we have their cheese. And so it's the cheddar stuffed meatloaves, um, which looks delicious and so easy. It says it's only going to take, you know, 10 minutes to prep and 35 minutes to cook. Looks delicious. And this isn't sponsored or anything. I have no sponsors, but HelloFresh has been a lifesaver for like postpartum and stuff like that. And we have a ton of recipe cards. Um, that we keep and I do like reusing them every once in a while just for a little bit of inspiration um, and a little bit to mix it up. Anyway, I feel like it's been a long time since I caught anybody up on what we've been doing recently. We have had a crazy busy summer. I was just talking to Eric and I'm like, I feel like we've had something going on every single weekend for the past like eight or nine weekends and <laughs> we still have more stuff planned for uh, all the way through September. Then we went on our cruise. That was a lot of fun. Eric and I do, try to do like a parent's weekends with no kids. Uh, we do it about once a year. Uh, sometimes we'll do it additional time during the year if it's just like a little one night staycation or something like that we just cleaned out our garage well, we didn't clean out the garage that's something we still need to do but we went to Costco for the first time in years um, we used to have a membership and then we didn't and then we got it and then never went and so we're like hey we have this membership let's just go so we got we went on a a Sunday with the whole family to Costco first thing in the morning and as you know then there's a ton of bulk things that you have to store it's not just like hey let's just store this thing of you know goldfishes in the pantry it's like okay now you have 45 bags 45 bags of goldfish and I was like, yeah, we'll go through it, but what am I supposed to do in the meantime? So we had to make room like in our uh, garage for all of that. And we bought a ton of meat that we had to put into the freezer and our deep freezer and freeze it. And it just been definitely Costco is not going to be a all the time kind of shopping trip, but I've always resisted going to like Costco and 
even like Trader Joe's and place like, places like that because I don't enjoy grocery shopping, which is really why I've been like such a grocery pickup kind of person ever since that became an option. And mainly what I don't enjoy about it is when you have to go to so many different places. It's like, okay, you go to Costco for like your bulk items, but then you have to go to like Trader Joe's for your uh, produce, and then you have to go to Walmart for all the baby products and all of like your, your first aids and your medicines. And then you go, and I'm just like, why am I, why do I have to go to three different stores? I just want to go to one store and get everything that I need. Ralph's or Vaughn's or something like that is like the perfect place. And sometimes the convenience, you pay a little bit more for the convenience. I'm that type of person, and so is Eric. We're like the type of people that if we can, we'll pay for the convenience of something versus like saving the money. Things like paying for parking. It's like, oh, you can pay for parking or you can park for free if you park on the street, but you have to circle the block six times and take 25 minutes before you find a spot. And it's like, I don't really want to do that, you know, driving around in circles and fighting for a spot and wait, like, I would just rather pay for parking and not have to, to deal with that, like, frustration. I would rather pay a little bit more for the groceries for the convenience of getting it all done at one store. I don't know. I don't think it would turn into like my every week kind of shopping, but we'll see. I could be persuaded. But the head can be persuaded. Lots of things going on in our life, lots of changes happening in our life, just trying to figure out where we're going to be in the next like five years. The Olympics just finished up and so they're already talking about the Summer Olympics next time which is going to be in LA in 2028 which is where we live. And so we're like what if we like rented out our house for people who are coming into town for like the Olympics. Uh, there's like an Airbnb or just like as a rental and so we're like okay what can we do now to like prepare for that in four years? I'm like, where was I four years ago? I had a one-year-old. Okay, four years ago I had a one-year-old and I worked at this company and now again I have a one-year-old and a two and a half-year-old and a five-year-old and I work at the same company. <laughs> it's like, so not much has changed. But a lot has changed, and so what's going to be a difference in four years from now? I predict that I won't be in the same house. We're going to see if we can get a, go move to a new house and do something crazy. Like, either move to a new, like, not just move to a new house, but, like, move to a completely new state. Or, like, a, yeah, a completely new state. If we live in California, we're living in this house. If we move out of this house, it's got to be to a different state. Or it's like, or are we going to be like traveling around in our RV? Are we going to be, you know, nomads? How many kids? We're we going to have four kids or three kids. How, where will I be living? What will I be doing? Still working at the same job? Hopefully not. I just feel like, you know, with my hair... It's so funny, Eric's literally sending me houses on Realtor.com right now, unless that he thinks they're super cool. Comment down below what state you think we could move to. We've been looking at two mainly, and then one is kind of like a alternative. But there's like two main ones that we are interested in. And so comment down below what you think one of those two states are that we would move to from California. I'm not very good at like multitasking. I, don't, I talked about this in a previous vlog where I'm like, I'd rather just get one thing done and get it over with. Trying to do two things. It's like, no, I'm not doing a great job at my hair and I'm not doing a great job at vlogging. But just wanted to catch up with everyone because it's been a little while. I was trying to get my hair done and it didn't work and so I came up with plan B and that didn't work and so it was like do I just do nothing or do I just 
completely pivot to like a different thing. And so what I did instead was I, that's what I decided to diet. And I, you know, found the caramel dye and Eric and I dyed it in our bathroom. And I think it turned out great. It was like a nice way to like refresh my hair. It was a little bit different. It was a little bit fun. Um, kind of felt special. And I was like, that was kind of fun. Like, instead of trying so hard to go down this path that I've been trying to go down and I keep hitting these roadblocks, like pivot, go down somewhere else. And like, I know it's just hair, but I kind of feel like it's the same with like life at the same time. Like I'm going on this one path this whole way and we're kind of coming to like a crossroads with like Eric's work schedule and with like my schedule and trying to like build an online business and so we're kind of at that point where we have to make the decision like are we gonna stay or are we gonna go and even if we don't know where we're gonna go we're still thinking about like just going or like doing an adventure I'd be like let's buy it buy a new house or find a new place to rent in another state, stay here, like keep, fix up this place, rent it out to the people here. Um, I can keep my job because I can work where I, from wherever. And you know, Eric's kind of coming up to the end of his job. So it's a good point to just be like, all right, peace out. We're going, you know, we're on this one path and now we're going to be on a completely different path. And today, Right now is kind of that like that fork in the road, that like decision factor that we, it's decision time for sure. And so I just, you know, the hair was just kind of the first thing, like it worked out doing something different. Like why not take those chances and like those adventures and see what it is. Like you could take the easy road and just keep doing everything that you, you've been doing or you could do something different. So we haven't made any decisions yet, but the quote that popped into my head was, don't live the same day, don't, what is it? Don't live the same year for 70 years and call it a life. And that's so true because it's like, in 10 years, are we still gonna be in the same house working at the same jobs with the same kitchen from 1990? And it's like, no. We're gonna fix it up. We're gonna go on an adventure. We're just gonna take take a risk, take a chance, and like, I really want to see what we're capable of. And we'll see when these Summer Olympics come around again if these predictions come true. Oh my god! Oh my god! You guys, comment down below if you know what that's from. Uh, uh, so I opened this bag of chicken nuggets, told you just went to Costco. So we got a jumbo bag. It's literally, it doesn't even say how much it is. Oh, it's literally four pounds of chicken nuggets. And so I'm like, hmm, there's not really like a rip top tab on this thing. I'm like, I guess I have to cut it open. And as I was cutting it open, I was like, wouldn't it be funny if there was like actually a way to open this? Like you would think there would be for a few four pounds. So I cut open the top and look, it says open here in tiny little writing. And it's, it's one of those things that has like the little Ziploc top. So I just opened four pounds of chicken. What am I supposed to do now? Oh my God, oh my God, you guys. Looks like Elle's gonna win the prize. Don't forget to subscribe down below.